There's nursing homes over the years, and I've seen a lot of patients with stroke and high blood pressure and um, a lot of di different ailments that I've heard contra that would the doctors would conf would um, probably consider what you're saying kind of controversial. Heresy. They wouldn't call it a contradiction. <laughs> they will call it sacrilege. They would say it's a, he's a he's a heretic. He should be quartered. He should be shot. <laughs> He's, he's, yeah, he's robbing right. us from our income. <laughs> In addition to that, they've always said that high blood pressure is one of the silent killers of black people. And the idea of using salt, I, I'm one of those people who have a sort of a low salt diet. And I'm just curious, how much salt would be appropriate? The standard uh, requirement of the body is at least three to four grams of salt a day as a minimum. Because your body has a mechanism of retaining salt. But if you don't give it enough salt that it could retain, then your body can become salt deficient. Uh, even, even cardiologists, uh, standard understanding is that salt is a, is a, a, more, a most important element. In fact, in the handout that I've given you, there is a, there is a recent report uh, published uh, from Albert Einstein School of Medicine, Dr. Michael Alderman, Chairman of the Epidemiology at Albert Einstein Uni School of Medicine in New York and President of the American Society of Hypertension, suggests the government should consider suspending its recommendation that people <coughs> restrict the amount of salt they eat. This is the recent information. And in fact, it says that people who are on low salt diet are more prone to die from heart attacks and strokes than people who are on low salt, high salt, higher salt diet. You have a copy of this? Yes, I do. Thank you. Well, read it. That's, that's the information that you need because we are, there are a lot of us who are ignorant in medicine, but very, very vociferous in our ignorance. Uh, we, you know, when you've got a belief system, you stick to the belief system um, far more, uh, uh, how shall I say, emotionally than if you had intelligence. Because uh, in intelligence, you have to argue. In, in, uh, in belief system, you reject the information straight away. Well, so a lot, of doctors, a lot of doctors sense. are rejecting my information because they are acting on belief system. And memory that the pharmaceutical industry is installed or the brain has been programmed with. And if you've got a computer, you know that it only functions with the memory it's got and whatever program it's got. It cannot uh, accept anything new unless you install that material intelligently in it. How does